Infectious Disease of the Liver in Geriatric Patients Introduction As life expectancy continues to rise, elderly adults represent a rapidly growing proportion of the population. However, aging has been shown to not only enhance vulnerability to acute liver injury, but also increase the susceptibility of the fibrotic response. Aging is associated with the severity and poor prognosis of various liver diseases, including hepatotropic viral infections such as hepatitis A, B and C. A study has shown that the mean age of patients with hepatitis C virus, HCV, is 40 years. The mean age of HCV with cirrhosis is 65 years and the mean age of HCV with hepatocellular carcinoma, HCC, is 70 years, suggesting that HCV complications are more prevalent in the elderly. On the other hand, the prevalence of hepatitis B virus, HBV, in advancing age has decreased to nil from age 35 to age 65 and above. But several cases of spontaneous outbreaks have been reported globally. Risk factors The risk factors for contracting a viral infection in older people are overuse of anti-inflammatory drugs and analgesics. Ingestion of contaminated water or food can spread hepatitis A infection. Hepatitis B infection is spread through contact with the body fluids, blood, semen and vaginal fluids of hepatitis B patients. Prolonged kidney dialysis unprotected sex or contact with body fluids of patients of hepatitis C causes hepatitis C infection. Malnutrition worsens alcoholic hepatitis. Hepatitis A Out of the three types of hepatitis infections, hepatitis A infection is usually milder in geriatric patients. Meanwhile, acute hepatitis A is rarely encountered in patients older than 65. If infected, Older people are more susceptible to severe forms of hepatitis A infection and complications such as fibrosis, cirrhosis and HCC. Hence, hepatitis A virus vaccination is strongly recommended for elderly patients, especially for those who are traveling to hepatitis A endemic regions. Hepatitis B Hepatitis B infection is similar to acute hepatitis A infection and is rarely seen in people above 65 years of age. But in rare cases, less than 5% of immunocompetent people do develop HBV infection. Older patients usually have HBE-AG negative chronic HBV due to more active, more advanced and more progressive liver disease. On the other hand, due to reduced immune functions, hepatitis B vaccination produces a lower antibody response in older patients. Hence, the incorporation of highly immunogenic pre-S antigen in the HBV vaccine is recommended to improve immunogenicity. Hepatitis C Age is an important factor when treating chronic HCV infection. Hepatitis C infection in older people who have contracted the infection from a blood transfusion or surgery before 1990 are at an increased risk of chronic hepatitis C. The prevalence of anti-HCV seropositivity tends to be higher in the elderly compared to younger individuals. Aging and age at infection are two factors that influence the progression of liver fibrosis and the development of HCC in older people. Other possible factors are higher vulnerability to environmental factors, especially oxidative stress, reduction in the rate of hepatic blood flow, reduced mitochondrial capacity, for instance, in individuals over 65 years, the relative risk of liver fibrosis is almost 3.78 times more than those below 65 years due to First, the duration of the infection in older people is longer. Second, older patients with mild hepatic disease are often asymptomatic and therefore they are not referred for evaluation. In patients with HCV infection acquired during transfusion, the median time for the development of cirrhosis decreases as the age of infection onset increases. However, when it comes to the treatment, management of chronic HCV infection in older adults is complex in terms of comorbidities and quality of life.